All right, this is uh, number one from the 2005 Form B BC Calculus exam, and it is a, uh, I don't know, vector slash parametric equations type of uh, problem. So what I'm going to do is uh, whoop, I'm going to insert a calculator page and get going. So let's see, they give us dx dt, so I'm going to say dx of t and store that value so I can use it. That's 12t minus 3t squared. And they give us dy of t, which is the natural log of 1 plus the quantity t minus 4 to the fourth. And it's a good idea to look at that one and make sure you got it right. There you go. I definitely don't. Set equal to. All right, there we go. So natural log of 1 plus the quantity t minus 4 to the fourth. That's a weird derivative. Um, all right, so the first question says acceleration vector at time t equals 2. So acceleration vector, I'm going to take the derivative with respect to t of dx of t at t equals 2. I'm going to take the, uh, okay, um, derivative with respect to t of dy of t at t equals 2 and get those values or decimal equivalent. So I'd write down the vector 0 comma negative 32 over 17. That's my acceleration. Um, I also need the speed at um, 2. So that's going to be the magnitude of velocity. So let me get a velocity. There's my velocity vector. And what I want is, um, there's two ways to do this. I, I can do the square root of um, 12 squared plus natural log of 17 squared, um, which gets me an exact value. Um, or I can use the built-in thing here in menu 77 for norm of this. Either way, um, a decimal approximation is 12.330, uh, I guess. So uh, that's part A. Part B is to find the y-coordinate at uh, the point P. So let's insert a calculator page. The point P is um, has x-coordinate 3, and it's at time t equals 2. Um, and we know that at t equals 0, the object is at 5, uh, negative 3, 5. So the y-coordinate starts at 5. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to it the total change in the y-coordinate between 0 and 2, and dy for t, and it gives me 13.672. Um, so that would be my answer, right? So the new y-coordinate is the old y-coordinate plus the total change, which is represented by this definite integral. Uh, write an equation for the line tangent to the curve at p. All right, so now I know that the... Um, the point is 3 comma 13.672 and um, what I need to do is find the slope. So the slope is going to be dy dt over dx dt at t equals 2. So I get that. Um, so the answer that I would end up writing is y minus, uh, let's just write, type it out, 13.672 equals and then this, and then the quantity x minus 3, which is one of the uglier tangent lines you'll find yourself writing. But that's what I would write. Um, the final question is, for what value of t, if any, is the object at rest? All right, so what I'm going to do is insert a graph. So for it to be at rest, I need dx dt, which I have to graph as a function of x, to be 0. And I need dy dt, which I will also graph as a function of x, to be 0. There appears to be a time at which both of those are, in fact, 0. So let's see if we can find that. 0 of graph 2 between there and there is 4. And then 0 of graph 1 between here and here is also 4, 0. Um, so we can say that dx dt and dy dt are both 0 at t equals 4. Therefore, the object is at rest at t equals 4. Uh, remember, with parametrics, uh, you need both of the derivatives to be 0. 
Otherwise, it might just be moving horizontally or it might just be moving vertically. Um, so watch out for that. But anyway, that's how I would do this problem, and I hope you find this helpful.